everyone. Elaine here. Yes, it's been a while. I went back and it's like October 2nd around there was the last time I did a video, so it's, I'm overdue. <laughs> um, the last time I showed you, I was on week nine of the Boggy style Luck of the Draw. Wipeout Wednesday, I showed you week three um, in the Bog Pollution, <laughs> so the witch's hat. Now, the washcloths I am up to date on. I think I showed you the first three, which was the penguin. This was um, 52 dishwash, dishcloths in a year that Laura Mad, from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming is doing out of a book from, it's an Annie's book. I got mine years ago on sale ebook for like a dollar, 99 cents or a dollar or something like that. And the washcloth book was one of them that I got. Oh, I can't even remember the other ones. I know I got a doily one and I think an Afghan one. I don't even know if I did any. I know I did the doily, some of the doilies, but I did the, I did one washcloth. All right, this was the first week. This was the second week. I already showed you the reef. And Rudolph was the third week, I believe. And all, all these are all done in cotton, lily and cream or sugar and cream. One of those cottons, kitchen cottons. And this was the next week. Um, oh, one moment. Where's the boss button? Okay, sorry about that. My sister called. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I showed you this. It's gingerbread house. And then this was the next one, the poinsettia. This was uh, fun to do. This was in there. And we had a Santa Claus. It's cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with half of these. Hang them up in the bathroom on a something. decoration. Some of these you can use as a washcloth. This would be a washcloth. Snowman block. This was the snowman block. And the snowflake. One of the snowflakes. There's another snowflake one in there, too. This was done in two parts. You did the blue and the, you know, white. And then this part you did separately and, and sewed it on. So I can't forget too much, but it came out kind of pretty. And then this one, this one would be a ginger, well, no, um, candy cane block. I didn't care for this one too much. Um, I just don't like the look of it at all. Yeah, it was four squares, four rows of each color. And then you, you <laughs> separated it. And uh, it was it was hard to um, sew on. It was hard to get it to look nice. I mean, this side looked pretty well. Gee, red to red on red wasn't bad, but this one came out terrible. This side, well, this is the only side that really didn't come out too good, looking too good. But didn't care for it too much. <laughs> It'll be a washcloth. It's just a washcloth. And the last one was the only one I had done from that um, book when I first got the ebook. And that was the Christmas tree. This one it was done in two parts too. This bottom part, and then you, you sewed on this uh, top part. You didn't sew it together. It was weird. And I put a little thing on it, and I I don't use it as a washcloth because it's so small. But I just hang it in my bathroom at Christmas time. <laughs> That's what I do, and I. Might be doing that as decorations too. Some of them are big enough for washcloths. Some of them more like decorations. So I'm all caught up now showing you my Wipeout Wednesday. Well, dishcloths. Um, Bot hat of Palooza, I didn't really do many of the hats. Um, I did that witch hat. And I think the next one that I did was the Santa slash elf hat, the big long one from Bag of Day. Um, I used. Um, Red Heart Super Saver in Mistletoe. It was um, it was on sale. It was a clearance. It was clearanced out. And I just did some just yarn, just velour for the uh, rim and for the pom pom. I just I didn't. It's not a real pom pom. It's 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 just a ball that I stuffed with fiber fill. <laughs> Lazy. So that's that one. And the only other hat I did was um a. It was a small Christmas hat for a child, and it had two points on it for pom-poms. I can't find it. I don't know what I did with it. I haven't made the pom-poms yet. 
I've never made a pom pom in my life. <laughs> I kind of, but I don't know what happened to it. It's in a, it's got to be in a bag somewhere around. I don't know. It's in with my Christmas yarn things that I put back in there. I got to check. I couldn't find it. Um, they, um, luck of the draw. Well, first of all, I, the, the I'm sending it to Boggy Creek, and I'll probably send it to Juan, a yarn addict, because he's in Delaware and he's closer to me. It might be cheaper to just mail it to him. But the blankets that I'm sending him is this one. This was a um, study in geometry or something like that. It was a, um, I've shown this to you before. It was a cro crochet crowd. Um, Cal or something. I did oh, a year or so ago. So this meets, this this was the right size. So I'm going to send that to Boggy Creek. And this one was um, Jaxie's. I did with Jaxie. A Boggy style. And oh, what was the name of it? Oh. it was, She had a twirly, you had a spin and she picked stitches and picked colors and stuff to do. It was like a look of the draw type thing. And this is how, this is what it came out to be. It's got some texture here. I didn't get to finish it because um, it would have been too big. <laughs> so I stopped at this point, whatever point that was. Oh, what was the name of that? Written down in my book. Oh, I know if I've got to have it written down here. When did I do this? Oh, Jaxie, I'm sorry. I can't remember what it was. Nope, I don't know. I've got it written down here somewhere, and I just don't know where I wrote it in. Huh. That bugs me to no end. Huh. I should have this written down here. I'll find it. But it's with Jaxie's, one of her, I think it was, it may have been the first one. I didn't do the last one she had, but it was um, this one. <laughs> oh, I wish I knew what I can't remember the name of it. Beautiful Things. Like it? I don't know. But that's going to Boggy Creek. And the last one I did was with uh, The Luck of the Draw with Trisha. And that was the Textured Cabin throw textured cap and blanket and that's how this one came out and this was all mostly red heart super saver um the um main color was um faded bricks care on one pound the rest i think was super saver colors so that's how that would come out That's a little better. Sorry, my alarm's going on. I gotta cook. It's time to cook the rice. <laughs> okay, so that's how this. That's so those three blankets I'm sending to um for Boggy Creek. And um, I think that's all I have to show you. Oh, I. My um, famous straw that was um, gifted to me by Anita at Y, no, not Y.O. Formerly Y.O. H. Crochet. She is now Yarn Tails and Hooks, or Hooks and Yarn Tails, Yarn Tails and Hooks. New, 
new name, same channel. So last time I showed it to you, I was around in this area here. So I got about this much done on it. So that's coming up. I got been working on it a little bit more since I didn't have to do the uh, Christmas tree washcloth this week. <laughs> I started working on this. And look at the draws done. So I didn't do all 10. Um, I did do all 10 weeks. I had to add three more weeks colors to the look of the draw because it wasn't quite big enough. So I picked my own colors. And this is living in the bag that Lynette, Charm Grammy gave me. <laughs> so that's it. That's all I got. <coughs> that's all I've done. I haven't done much at all, actually. So that was my... She's try, was just trying to get a video out every week, but it looks like it's going to be once a month. <laughs> Lucky. So that's off, guys. Um, hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving coming up next week. I probably won't be on it again until who knows when, whenever I get around to doing something. And uh, we'll catch you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.